Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my Tower of Fantasy videos where today we're going to be doing top 10 things to do before 2.0 or what things are coming to 2.0. I noticed you guys liked my last video about what things are coming to 1.5 or top 10 things that's coming to 1.5. So here we are with this video. So the first thing that I want to talk about is save for Lynn and Ruby. Lynn and Ruby is coming up next and if I'm not mistaken, Saki is also coming next. But the thing that I want you guys to know is that it had been confirmed this is no longer just a leak or any final piece of information is 100 percent confirmed that ruby is the next character after co-op b so stop butchering me in my comments saying she's not next because she is next trust the leaker as always the next thing that i want to talk about is raid piece raid pieces are going to be added through the game there's going to be variety places to get them and not only that this will also unlock a new piece of gear for the third thing is these raid pieces will also be added to the bygone fastum. With these things being added to the bygone fastum, every time they give out the rewards each week, you'll also be able to get pieces of these raid pieces to essentially buy the piece of gear that you want. What does this gear piece does? Well, let me tell you what this gear piece does. What this gear piece does is you buy it from the shop once you get 40 pieces of these gold tokens. And then with these gold tokens that you get for the other to buy the gear piece, you'll buy the selected one you want. There's physical, ice, fire, and vault. And you take it, you go equip it on your character, get the elements you want. So if, like me, you're maining fire, which is what I'm doing, you buy the flame piece of gear. Hope that you get good stats on it so you don't have to buy another one. And then you'll advance it just like any other piece of gear in the game. So next thing that I want to talk about is stat rerollers. If you get to 900 activity, this is in CN, I don't know how they're going to do it for global. But if you get to 900 activity then you'll be able to essentially get the stat roller put it on one of your piece of gears and makes it make sure rng a lot better so instead of trying to roll for a stat that you want and get a 25 percent chance to do that now it's going to be increased for 33 percent because what it's going to do now is exit out one of these stats and it's not going to roll into that so pretty cool to me the fifth thing that i want to talk about is hold your keys so your blue and purple decipher keys that you've been using hold on to all of them every single last one of them lick them like the bread cons and please hold on to them because you're going to be able to use them in vera unlock the chests in vera get this gold and purple bluish like currency and then take this currency and then be able to buy things out the Gashon shot. With the Gashon shot, you're able to get summons for characters and matrices. And on top of that, get cosmetics and a new vehicle. We all love new vehicles. It's literally free black crystals for anybody. Well, free to play. It doesn't matter. It's free black crystals. Plus, it looks pretty nice in my opinion. So why not? Go for it. The next thing I want to talk about is the new world boss. The new world bosses, they're going to be two. They're going to be reindeer. There's going to be reptile. They're going to have different mechanics. And they're going to be fucking hard. So that's that and then on top of that they're also going to drop these gear pieces in the new piece of gear at a chance just like a ssr chance i think it's the same rate or close to that rate but yeah it's going to drop this new gear that you're going to be able to farm for and equip on your character there's going to be a new joint operation joint operation 9 if you thought joint operation 8 was a pain well this one's really going to be a pain because of the fact that if you're not using the respected element they ask you to use you're going to get 120 percent resistance Holy shit, you're not going to be doing no damage if you're not running the right element. But it's also going to give you a damage increase if you're running the correct element. So if you're running, say, run something like Ice and Fire, and if you're running Ice and Fire, you will actually get a DPS increase. Whether you're a healer, support, tank, it doesn't matter. It's going to give you a DPS increase, which is really cool that they added. The eighth thing that I want to talk about is Energy Crystal Dust. I want you to save all your Energy Crystal Dust because of the fact that they're going to allow you to buy an unlimited amount of booster modules and the other little green chip thing that you're able to send your characters with and you're going to be able to buy a limited amount so all your blue energy dust continue saving it if you look on every single one of my global videos i have been saving it i have not been spinning it and as you see it's stacked up over time that is because i know it was coming in very so please save it on top of that the ninth thing that i want to talk about is you're going to also be able to use this same blue energy crystal dust in order to buy ssr relics ssr relic pieces you're going to be able to collect these pieces, combine them into an SSR relic, or advance your SSR relic that you already own, and it's going to rotate between the shop. So that's really cool. You'll have a way to basically grind out SSR relics if you want to. That's what I'm going to do. You can see my alternate destiny at Advancement 5 because that's exactly what I'm getting into. The next thing that I want to talk about is number 10. <clears throat> the new map that I that we all should know 
you know, we can't forget about the map. There's going to be the city. There's going to be the desert. For the city, you're going to be able to still, you know, <clears throat> get those new summons, get the new matrices that you're going to be able to pull for on banners. And on top of that, a new thing that's going to come into the game is going to be powerful origin energy crystal 2, which is a very painful thing to say out my mouth. And basically, it's for you guys that have reached maximum suppressor level. And now it's going to be this little green little puzzle piece thing that you're going to be able to use to upgrade your suppressor farther basically increasing some of your base stats and increasing your damage overall and on top of that there's going to be this great domain called linjin this linjin domain thing or whatever you want to call it it's going to be some green thing and you're going to have these little gates these little gates are going to open up around vera you're going to be able to go inside there and explore i have no clue what the rewards is i know nothing about it because whenever i explored it on cn i hopped into there one time one time i did not know what the hell to do because everything was in chinese and i cannot read chinese so that is pretty much everything that is coming out to 2.0 vera things you can probably prepare for such as you know prepare your currency also make sure that whenever you're rolling your stats make sure whatever um stats you're running to if you're running hp as a healer make sure you're running hp resistance so that way you can be at a tanky healer and healing as much as possible also roll attack if you're a healer and then for tank you also want to make sure that you're rolling for resistance and hp because some of your things just come off of hp and for attacker you just want to be essentially going for your crit remember there is crit on boots and gloves like i said if you guys did like this video do not forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one and don't forget to join the discord because we're also doing a giveaway but i'll see you guys in the next one peace